the very first appearance I had as an actress was really Good Times. Really? Yeah, I played J.J.'s junkie fiancé. <laughs> and uh, that happened quite by chance. Uh, I was sitting in the uh, office waiting for someone to pick me up. I was visiting Ralph Carter. We had played in a musical on Broadway together for two years, Raisin. And um, while I was sitting there waiting, Jane Murray, the casting director, walked past me. And she did a double take. She went, can you act? I said, yes, ma'am. She says, well, are, are you available? I said, yes, ma'am. And she took me in her office, auditioned me, and I got the part right then, right on the spot. Right on the spot. Struggling actress here. <laughs> really, I mean, who knew? Who knew? It was kind of early on. It was maybe the second year or so because Ralph Carter had done Raisin with me and now he was out of that and he was doing the TV show. I was actually visiting and staying at his house. I was visiting like his big sister and um, it was it was exciting because it was such a great show and everyone loved it so much and Jimmy Walker was such a phenomenon and I was playing his girlfriend, his prom date, who was a junkie and jumped out the window and um, it was really, it was my first introduction in on that level into sitcom and to what could happen. We can't stay here for three days. I can't go that long without my... I mean, we don't have a change of clothes. Or maybe there's a place we can rent underwear. <laughs> and I remember one day there was a controversy because my hair was um, already styled and I was ready to go out. And then uh, the young sister, Bernadette, said, no, she can't wear her hair like that. I'm wearing my hair like that. And it was like, but... But I'm already ready. No. So then the producers came in and they decided, Debbie, you can wear your hair like that because they liked it. It was for the prom. It needed to be up. I don't know. She was a sweet girl. We, we became friends later on. For me, it was so exciting. I had already done Broadway. I'd been in the theater. And sitcom television is really the best cross between theater and film because you do have a live audience and you do get to rehearse a little bit, you know, three or four days. Um, so for me, I was just like this young ingenue and I was so excited and happy to be there and willing to do whatever was asked, try it this way, try it that way, um, but still very much with a sense of who I was as the character. That she, the, they cast me because they wanted someone that didn't have what might be a kind of uh, stereotypical look for somebody that's a junkie. You know, a middle class little high yellow girl, kind of curly hair. You know, because it just kind of washed away a lot of myths which needed to be washed away about where this problem lies. Right. This drug problem lies everywhere. Anyway, but for me it was so exciting because I got to meet Jimmy Walker and he was so exciting and popular and um, he was always trying to kiss me. I'm like, boy, child, give it a rest. I was still my own self, and he liked me, actually, because I didn't come onto the show like a suck-up. I mean, I had a lot of energy, but I was still, I was Debbie Allen then. I was Deborah Allen. That's my name, Deborah. Deborah Allen is my real name. Hollywood changed that. Um, he liked me so well, he asked for me to play in his movie, and I played opposite him again and the greatest thing that almost happened, which was very exciting. So it was, I mean, to be on a show and be a, a show that was so popular and all those people, you just want to fit in and sometimes, uh, I guess people can make you feel uncomfortable, but, but I think when you come in with such a positive spirit, which is what I've always had, it's hard for people to be mean to you or to um, not accept you.